Hello and welcome to part number 17 of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom No Death playthrough. The purpose of today's video is to collect four of the dragon parts. Um, we're going to be focusing on Nedra and without further ado I'm going to start. Nedra is found in a specific path around this area. She starts off here and then kind of circles all the way here and then goes on towards sorry from here and then goes on towards like this path and then here goes down here into the depths goes through the depths and then back out from here um, so I began this video because I noticed Nadra right beneath us right there so we're gonna go ahead and catch her and then farm the parts that we need the reason why we're farming her is because we need the parts associated with dragons to upgrade our fierce lady set and there are four parts we'll start off with the first one the horn and i hope i do not freeze it is cold it is to be expected still too cold i wonder if i land on this I freeze. Nope. And then simply what you do is just so this is the horn. We need the horns. <coughs> we'll just grab that. So that's Nidra's horn done. That's one of the parts. Now we're gonna go back here a little bit off and start farming the shards. Now shards aren't what we need, but they're good items to have. Uh, for resale purposes. Our Nidra will try to freeze you off and on again. So just be aware of that. This dragon flies much lower than the light dragon. So it's much easier to get onto as you saw. We were able to get onto it from the great uh, one of the sky islands which was not that high up in the sky. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead here. Oops. Don't be scared, you know, kind of climbing its back there. It's actually going up. That's why we're having a hard time going up. So that's what we need. And when it is going up, just make sure to just climb its back. And then just hold on to it. You won't run out of stamina. And it will start sending out its ice sort of pellets there. Now, we've just farmed the horn. We'll have to wait for 10 minutes in real time to get the next part and the dragon will almost glow when we have the uh, next part available to be farmed. Oops, I missed that one. Okay. And I think that's that. Yeah, so if I were to... So I got the horn. Next I'm looking is for the scale. So if I try to tap my Master Sword here, <coughs> it won't do anything. Uh, but once the dragon becomes reset, it becomes activated again, I don't know, I don't have a good word for that. It will allow us to farm the dragon's skill as well. Okay, so off we go. Follow the path of the dragon and I will pause and return once the time of 10 minutes has passed to farm the next part. And we're back. The timer hasn't reset but I thought I'd bring this to attention. The dragon is going down the chasm so this is another good way to take the chasm if you so desire. Uh, now the reason why I show this is because you have to adjust your position accordingly. At the start of the video we were flying almost uh, horizontally. Now we're going downward at least, so make sure to adjust yourself. 
uh, to a point where you're able to hang on to the dragon. Also, Nadra will throw out these ice balls right there, the ice spikes or whatever. They will freeze you, they have frozen me twice. Uh, they will cost a heart each time you freeze unless you have the fully or the two star upgraded snow clothes set, then you're immune from freeze effects. I don't know if a chill shroom recipe would do the same for you, but I'm I can't be bothered. So make sure to unfreeze yourself and have enough hearts or healing items as I do. Okay, lots and lots of healing items, so I'm not so concerned. And if worse comes to worse, fairies. And yeah, just wanted to showcase that, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and the dragons got the telltale glow here, as you'll notice. This is signifying that we can now farm it. And so we shall do that. We quickly pick it up. And so we've got the scale now. And the dragon ceased glowing again. Now we're in the depths, as you can see, we are horizontal again, and if you so desire you could jump down there. I think Nintendo left this as a deliberate feature because you do not need the paraglider to progress through the game, you could go throughout the game without the par paraglider. And this is a smart way to get to the depths without dying, by using the dragons here and then just using the glide set times to upgrade it. Um, which would be an interesting challenge run, I'm sure someone's done it. Uh, but without the glider, just using the glide set, you can just um, playing the whole game. So, yeah, so we've got two parts. Uh, next up, we'll need the claw and the tooth. This will take a few attempts, this might take a few attempts. So, I, again, I shall demonstrate how, we're done, how it's done. The parts will fall on the ground, so we'll need to be prepared to use our auto build as needed. Okay, to, to get us back up in the air. So, yeah, um, stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, so again, we're still waiting on the timer, but I thought I'd show this. So, we're exiting the chasm now, so we're going up. Okay, and there's the head of the dragon, and we're kind of clinging here, so that's kind of what you need to do. Make adjustments to Link's character as you ascend or descend the depths, and uh, this is our ascension. And here we are, out from the depths and up into the surface. So that's uh, it's quite beautiful. Um, once we are more horizontal, I'm going to try to farm the item. I don't think that the dragons reset yet, but. Um, it will do so momentarily. So stay tuned. Okay, so the dragon's reset, it's glowing now. What I would recommend at this point is saving the game. Okay, hit the save button so that if you do mess up, you can try this again. We're looking for either the claw or the teeth. So let's start with the teeth actually. And make sure your bow is equipped your back. I wonder if mine is or not. Yes, it is. Need an arrow for this. We'll have to wait till he opens or she opens its mouth. No. I would say... I think that's a scale, so that's not the right one. Yeah, so again we can just reset and try this again. Oops. Because that's not what we needed. And this part will be a little bit tricky, so it's going to take a while to get the item needed. I'm going to try to showcase as best as I can, uh, but i um, hoping it's not going to take that that many. Oh, okay. So that actually sent me ways back. Hmm. Interesting. I guess you don't uh, respawn at the start of the dragon. Okay. No worries. 
Uh, we can locate the dragon again. It is by Mont Lenaryu, I think. If I'm not incorrect. That would make sense. Because uh, the game would have a hard time figuring out where exactly you are. So apologies on my end there. Resetting it will result in the dragon. You getting off the dragon's back. I just want to make sure that I didn't reload a older save because I should still have the other two items. Yes, I do. Okay, dragon. I hear the dragon's telltale sound. Oops. Okay, where is it? There he is. There she is. Forgive me. So we haven't lost too, too much time there. Now we do have an autosave here, so we can just use this one at Mount Lanaryu. Or sorry, I guess we don't. That's okay. Uh, we can just reload the previous save, then I can save it here. But this part is a little bit of a challenge kind of complete um, when we got our enemies though there as well it's not uh, the best let's get real close let's see what that is And that is it. We got ourselves a fang. Okay, now we want to catch the... Oh, we've got enemies here. We want to catch the dragon again. There's multiple ways we can do that. We could try to use the rocket shield. But I think that won't take us as far high up. So instead we'll just build the auto build here. Which we set up. And... Ascend this way. And so that's how you kind of make use of the Zonai devices to your advantage. That should be plenty. We don't need the device, that'll just be lost to the wind there. And we're back here. The battle music is still on board. And there you go. So we wait another 10 minutes, but we have acquired the fang, we have acquired the scale, and we have acquired the horn. So three items are done, we're just left with the claw. So again, I'll pause and I shall be right back. Thank you. And again, the dragon is finally glowing and so is ready to be farmed slash harvested. I'm going to save the game here just so that I know where exactly I am and just to demonstrate I do in fact have the fang, the scale and the horn we're just left with the claw we are in the Lekluda region I believe and up here the north sky archipelago this is the closest uh, shrine if we so need to reload and we're in between the sky factory and this island right here so i'm gonna save the game we should be not as high as up in the islands actually we sort of are we sort of are so that's a little bit of a problem yeah because that's a sky factory right up above us and if you were to take the jump from here that is not going to be the easiest place to make our ascent I think uh, I don't know if it's up above you okay well that's fine that should be okay <coughs> all right so we're gonna give this a go and let's see how this goes so the claws are located back here and we need to hit 
really the blue part there. Let's try to get closer still. There you go. Just making our drop here. See, and there you go. Caught it midair. And this concludes our dragon farming for Nidra. We got ourselves everything we need. By fuse power, if you were to put, we've got the horn, we got the fang. Excuse me, we got the claw, we got the spike, and we got the scale. We don't need the spike, so we can sell that, but the other four parts we will need to upgrade our uh, Fierce Deity set. So that's the first item done. Next up, we're going to pursue the other two dragons. So that's the kind of breakdown on how to obtain the dragon parts and how to farm them. It is a tedious process. It does require catching up with the dragon. Uh, both in the depths and in the surface. As I said, auto build really helps. Uh, this is the one that I would recommend using. And then going for that. But, um, you know, if you've got other methods, you can use them as well. You can use a rocket shield if you so desire. Um, or whatever have you at your disposal. So, happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.